We were uh, something like 80 person on that boat. It was uh, so dangerous. They just told us, you have to go straight. They say, uh, you have to just go straight and that mountain in front of you, there is uh, Greece. And anybody of you know how to drive this boat? The urban centers were sealed in the mid 90s, pushing people out into the geography of the desert. It's a very intentional strategy on the part of the US government and Border Patrol to increase human suffering and death along the border. We're on the Quebec side of the Quebec-US border, and this is a place called Roxham Road. Roxham Road ends right there, and it continues right over that little hill on the US side. People will come up this road, get off whatever vehicle they're in or a cab, and then come across. Stop. Yeah, stop. If you cross here, you will be arrested. I know the history of uh, Plaza. It was a hotel for Olympic in Athens. It was closed and nobody used it. So the anarchists, they unbanned and uh, they repaired it. They helped a lot of people, a lot of refugees to come here and live uh, a little bit better than uh, the other uh, camps. Closing border, this is not really, it's not a solution and it's not going to work. As long as they close the border, as long as the people will get more motivation to communicate with each other. We need to make regular the idea that it's perfectly natural to just walk across and that these states that are defined, the Canadian colonial state and the American imperialist colonial state, are things that we resist and we oppose, but we're not going to let the borders get in the way of us having mutual solidarity. There's no way that this thousands of miles of border can be enforced.